Welcome back, everybody. A live look at the KX weather camera looking toward the east from our studios just north of Villa Maria on Texas Avenue. And you can see a pretty good shower that's actually over northeastern Grimes County moving right into Brazos County. A look at the radar shows that activity moving across Grimes County out near the Iola area. A little bit of cloud to ground lightning with that cell as well. But uh, and, and it looks like it's peaking right now. I do believe that it will be dissipating by the time the game gets underway but as it moves toward the east and east southeast we could see it right across the Bryan College Station area within the next uh, 30 minutes to an hour so there is a chance of some sprinkles or a, a brief shower over Bryan College Station including the Kyle Field area uh, for the next hour but I think by game time shower activity should be diminishing and uh, dissipating across the Brazos Valley temperature wise we were up to 96 degrees we're still at 97 right now in BCS 98 in her 97 in Caldwell and Brenham, 94 in Navasota, 95 in Madisonville, but it feels hotter with the humidity levels as high as they are. Our current heat index 104 in Hearn, 102 in Caldwell and Brenham, 101 at Bryan College Station, Navasota, and Madisonville. Now here's the latest look at Hurricane Dorian, which is really, even though it is still a Category 1 hurricane, starting to look more intense. The banding around the center is getting stronger, and I really think overnight tonight or tomorrow, we'll start to see a well-defined eye developing as well. Now these are the latest coordinates on Dorian, 22.5 north, 67.7 west, and it's moving toward the northwest at 13 miles per hour. As it encounters high pressure to the north of it over the next couple of days it'll be turning back toward the west and moving over very warm water could be strengthening to a category four dangerous hurricane as it approaches the Florida coast over the Labor Day weekend more on Dorian coming up tonight at 10 right now though high pressure over the western United States still steering a light northerly flow with weaknesses across our area giving us a slight chance for showers and thunderstorms tomorrow maybe again on Saturday also the remnants of a week stationary front. Another front off to our north will not make it. We're going to stay hot and dry over the Labor Day weekend, but a slight chance of showers heading into the weekend. Tomorrow afternoon, a 20% chance and a 10 to 20% chance on Friday, or rather on Saturday as well. But the rest of the weekend should be hot and dry. Tomorrow, 90 at noon, 95 at 5 o'clock with a 20% chance for showers and thunderstorms. Uh, then on Sunday, Labor Day and Tuesday, looking for highs around 97. Labor Day looking good, but do take care in the heat. Make sure to follow heat safety precautions in this late summer weather.